370 small helium balloons were inflated by dozens of volunteers at a foggy soccer field in Caribou, Maine last week, and assembled to create a cluster balloon system that pilot Jonathan Trapp hoped would carry him across the Atlantic. Trapp had already flown across the English Channel and above the Alps in smaller systems, and he spent two years working toward this launch. Balloon pilots came from around the country to help with the project, including aviation legend Colonel Joe Kittinger, who was the first to fly solo across the Atlantic in a balloon, launching from Caribou in 1984. Just after dawn, the system was ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> All the best. Good sailing, Captain. The aircraft rose above the ground fog into a weather system that promised to deliver trap to Europe in less than a hundred hours, but he quickly ran into trouble. The balloon refused to hold a stable altitude, and trap was using ballast much too quickly. Just 12 hours into the flight, he landed on the coast of Newfoundland in the dark and spent the night in his lifeboat. A reporter from CBC News searching in a helicopter found him the next morning. Other pilots have tried and failed, learned and tried again, Trap hasn't yet discussed his future plans. This is Mary Grady reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.